Hey everyone, Tragic here with another little jump start pack opening. We got a little pack battle here, but first, a little sneak peek of something I whipped up today on my lunch break. I've got this. If you know what this is, then you will know. If you don't know what that is, stay tuned. I'll send that to the man himself and let him do it this time. Nobody can out Rudy Rudy. I've discovered that in the past. So right now, we'll get some jump start action going on. And uh, these ones are for me. For, for me. Uh, let's go do the pack battle thing and see what we can get here. So jump start pack numero uno is going to be that. And we'll flip them at the same time. And we'll scan up anything that looks interesting. All right, if we were to match these two together, we would get Legion of Walls. All right, fun stuff. So we got the Boros Legion, <clears throat> which I guess is only white, so they don't do dual color decks because you, when you mash them, you get dual color off, often as opposed to single color completely. Anyway, nice little placeholder. We got a, a legendary Lena, selfless champion. 3-3 three, three for 6. When Lena enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token for each non-token creature you control. You can sacrifice her to creatures you control with power less than Lena's power gain. Indestructible until end of turn. Is she a big one? Let's get the scanner and find out. There's a Mentor of the Meek, which would go perfectly with Lena, I imagine, creating little creatures. Mentor of the Meek is not going to be anything more than bulk so he'll go there seed striker face fetter selfless savior and some various white creatures um not under two actually yeah two or less power that would work with mentor the meek so that's nice and you can fortify him up here's the legion's judgment then the thriving lands uh are gonna be pretty solid i think Raise the alarm. And then there's a Legion Plane. So that's pretty cool. And uh, not all of these lands are really slam dunks, but I think they're pretty interesting. And then we get some regular lands. So there we go. First pack. Our Legion would go with our walls quite nicely, probably. This would be a nice little mashup to jumpstart your deck building experience. That's like a, a graveyard wall right there. Towering Titan, a mythic. So it's a 0-0 zero, zero for 6. How does that work? Towering Titan enters the battlefield with X. One counters on it where X is the total toughness of other creatures you control. Sacrifice a creature with defender. All creatures gain trample until end of turn. So it's a wall lord. Defender lord. Uh, she's pretty cool. I gotta say. Let's see if she's worth anything. 899 not bad not bad at all so there's a little hit there assault formation each creature you control assigns comet damage equal to its toughness rather than its power we've seen this effect before uh, i can't remember is this a reprint or a new card let's see three cents assault formation was originally printed in dragons and tark here and then again as an uncommon and iconic master so not a big one, but very useful for a deck like this where you're going to want uh, defender creatures. You flip their power and toughness while well, you use their toughness as their power, essentially. Solid effect. It's kind of fun to play that way. Battlement, Wall of Blossoms. This is actually a pretty decent um, little wall. Money-wise, a little bit better than your average uncommon. And a thriving grove. Very cool little land there. I don't know if that one's worth a lot. Probably not. Some commons. And then this would be the Defender Forest, I essentially think. The Walls Forest. Let's see. 225, a little bit better than the other one. So there we go. And some nice basic forests there. All right. Next up, two packs to mash up again. You can just do this over and over. If I had anyone to play with, I would do this, but... A sad person that has no time to actually play. What do we got here? Goblins and dinosaurs. Wow. See? Fun city right there. All right, let's see what we got for goblins. Me and the boys coming to raid your village. Goblin Chieftain. There we go. He is a reprint. A couple bucks there. Uh, different version. Goblin Goon. I think I've seen this before. Kind of this same pack. 
it would look like. Yep, there's a monkey goblin. Brutes, instigators, short cutters, the honorary ones, and the thriving bluff. And then we're going to get a goblin mountain, which should be a little bit. 92 cents, not too shabby. And some more red mana to get your goblin deck going. There we go. Dinosaurs. Fun uh, tribe as well. I love tribes. I actually really enjoy playing magic that way. Having similar creatures that do similar things. I know it's not the super competitive way. That's not me anyway. I'm, I like fun when I get to play. Dinosaurs. Galta. Primal Hunger. Very cool. It's a 12-12 for 12, but the spell costs X less to cast, where X is a total power creature you control, and it's got Trample. This is a solid finisher for any dinosaur deck. 857 for that version. I'm sure this version is about the same. Savage Stomp. Cultivate. It's a good uh, uncommon. It's been printed many times, and it's still a buck. Um, different version. You know how it goes. Colossal Dreadmaw, the classic. Just kind of a 6-6 six, six trampler. And you can kind of pump them, and you can cast other mana with your Thriving Land. Death Touch, Defender, and the Dinosaur Forest I think is worth a little bit as well. Yep, a buck. There we go. And I'm a sucker for basic lands. Just the art is just amazing. You can never have too many. Let's see what else we get here. Anyone else playing Jumpstart out there? Perfect for getting your buddy into this, I think. Flip in. Discarding minions. Alright, let's do the minions first. They're not the little yellow guys that my kids watch. I'm going to guess they're a little bit darker than that. Hey, get open here, would you? Minions, Kells Fight Fixer, 4 3 for 4, legendary Azra Warlock. Azra is a creature type, eh? Menace, whenever you sacrifice a creature, you may pay blue or black. If you do, draw a card. Pay 1, sacrifice a creature. Kells Fight Fixer gains indestructible until each turn. Got possibilities for sacrificing those minions for whatever you need them for. Get them in the graveyard, bring them back, do all the nonsense. 8 bucks. Witch's Cauldron. Bone Picker, another um, card to do with some creatures that you want to kill, basically, right there. That'll help out. Eliminate destroying creatures, sacrificing creatures. I'm seeing a trend here. Um, I think they did pretty good putting most of these together. Thriving more, very cool looking land. I think I may actually scan this one up. Yeah, they're about a buck, I think, most of them. And then there's the Minion Swamp, which has got a bunch of gargoyles all around it. And it's going to be a little bit less than some of those other ones. There we go. And some swamps. There we go. The discarding deck. Let's see what's in this. I have not memorized every single deck. The possibility out of these. So hopefully some of this will be a surprise. Discarding. Liliana's Reaver. A reprint from like M14, I think. Uh, it's a 4 3 zombie for 4. It's got death touch. Whenever Liliana's Reaver deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card and you create a tapped 2 2 black zombie creature token. So there you go. That's all about discarding. We got a Nixathid. That's just a buck on the original. Nixathid is also a buck. It's a 7 7 for 3. Oh, I didn't notice that. As Nixthid enters the battlefield, choose an opponent. It gets minus one, minus one for each card in the chosen player's hand. So definitely get rid of their hand, which is a good strategy to begin with. Spell Spectre. Chupacabra. Good card. Burglar Rat, get rid of their cards. Yep, yep. Discard, discard, discard. Thriving more. Yeah, White of Precinct 6. It grows for each creature card in your opponent's graveyard. Perfect for this format, I think. Oh, you get two of them, in fact. Double that up. There you go. This must be the discard swamp. Looks really cool. I've not seen that one yet. Got some Phyrexian oil growing out of that spooky looking altar there. 86 cents. Not a big one there. If it had Phyrexian writing on it, now that would be something. All right. They're slippery. They keep wanting to fall over over here. Just stay. Why don't you? 
Nope, it's not gonna. All right, two more packs of Jumpstart. Let's get this done here. What other kind of deck are we gonna mash up here? We got Angels and Legion again. So we already opened Legion. Let's see if it's pretty much the same or if it's the same but different. That can happen. Legion, Lena Selfless Champion. There we got another one. Um, what was she like? A buck or something? Not even. Get over there. Mentor of the Meek. So it's like the same deck as before. So at uh, in, a, in a retail environment like Walmart, this would be fine. People just pull these out of the box um, a few at a time. And, you know, then you've got uh, uh, just a few people playing with a few decks. But if you're, you're buying these by the box... It's uh, a little, a little slightly disappointing to see the same, like multiples, maybe even three of the same little pack in, in each box, so that is possible. Here's the angels. Let's open them up, see if we got any big angels here. Got Linvala, Keeper of Silence. Well, we got a mythic there at least. Reprinted, 3 4, legendary angel uh, for 4. It's got flying. Activated abilities of creatures your opponent's control can't be activated, so they cannot tap or do anything that um, requires them to actually activate, so they can still attack and block and things like that. Very cool, iconic art. It's been around for a while. And Linval Keeper of Silence is 19 bucks, even as a uh, jumpstart reprint, so that's pretty solid. There we go. Angelic Arbiter is, uh, I'm sure, a good angel, but it doesn't. It's not going to rate nearly like that. Ah, eh, buck seventy. I'm surprised. It's a five, six, four, seven. It's got flying. Each opponent, each opponent who cast a spell this turn can't attack with creatures. Each opponent who attack with a creature this turn can't cast spell. So these angels are all about limiting what your opponent can do. So that's kind of nice. Angelic Ascension, and Emancipation Angel, Sarah Angel, the classic right there. Pretty cool art. Idol, bunch of angel stuff. Humans that would be nice to angels. The scroll of Avacyn, the big angel, sure. The thriving heath. And uh, a angelic plains with some feathers there. Let's check this one out. Buck 24, so not a bad one there. All right, that's going to do it for my uh, packs of Jumpstart. Did okay here with the Linvala and some other nice little stuff that I could use to build other decks with. So there you go. That's Jumpstart. And thank you for watching Tragic MTG. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.